is it a can't miss game and a backdrop to match what is a special occasion the fans had this one circled on their calendars long ago and now it's a matter of who will dominate on the pitch top players big characters on the big stage a highly exciting prospect it's nice they face Paris Saint-Germain and it's coming up live here on EA TV Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And a lot to be excited about because coming up for you, action from Liga. It is Nice against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Well, here's how it looks for Nice. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Well, we've got the same shape here, so today could be about which wingers are the most effective. So this should be a really good watch today. Putting it wide from there, disappointing. Well, what a chance to take the lead, and doesn't he know it? But will they get a better one than that? Considering the form book, Stuart, Kylian Mbappe has got to be taken seriously here. Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Chaw. Sure. Sanson. Read it superbly to take back possession. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. And the penalty is given. The referee right on the spot. And now a chance for them to take the lead here. And into the book he goes too. Well, once he gave the penalty, he was always going to give him a yellow card. This to make it 1-0. Goal! Taking aim from the spot and finding the target. Well, here it is again. He makes it look so easy. The keeper dives slightly early and he passes it into the other side. Really confident finish. The ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Sosso. Kefren Turam. Pablo Rosario. And on to Boga. A chance to whip it in. Well, it could be on for him here. Well, nothing comes of it. Soler. Danilo Pereira. They've given it away. Boga. And since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Well, the advantage didn't really accrue to them, and so it's going to be a free kick. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Well, I think that picture tells you everything. He's not in agreement with the referee on that one. Mm -hmm. 
Sanson. Well, it did look promising, but no. Th they could level it. Novdi Mukieli. Kangin Lee. It's with Carlos Soler. And well, he stopped them in their tracks. This might be ideal for the counter. Sanson. Fluency of movement. But then the one that goes astray. Soler. Out of play it goes, and it will be a throw-in. Pablo Rosario. Todibo. Pablo Rosario has it. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Being egged on by the crowd. And a goal! The equaliser! Superb entertainment! Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. Well, disappointment, anger, frustration, whatever is going through his mind, he needs to get his team going again here. So back underway following the equaliser. Marco Asensio. Not high quality defending. Sanson. And he's made headway. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. How can he take them on and beat them? Well, there's the pullback. Easy save. And PSG pushing forward with options available. For the lead here. Couldn't grab hold of it. Well, the flag has gone up here. Offside it is. And Marcin Bujka has it now. Not a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Sanson. And passing it through. And he's found a bit of daylight. Terem Mofi. And with that, the first half comes to an end here in Turin. And I think it's fair to say he's had happier days in front of goal, Stuart. Well, the touch map tells us everything. He just hasn't been able to get on the ball in dangerous positions. Yes, he's been well marked, but he has to do a lot more to find space, I think. So, the second half drama here at the Allianz Stadium. Can they forge ahead? No way through. 
A PSG corner it is, and potentially an opportunity. Keen to take it short here. Nogdi Mukiele. Well, a fierce effort, but quite simply not accurate enough. Well, he knows that was a big chance to take the lead there. They've just got to keep plugging away. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Able to close down the shot. Denied once more. Short corner favoured. And he did what he had to do defensively. And he read it well defensively. Well, as the stats tell us, PSG have dominated the ball in the last 15 minutes and created a hat full of chances. But when you're enjoying that amount of possession, you need to make it count. Yes, really going so well for them, and who knows, they might be able to craft another opportunity. Oh, he's blocked it! Cho. It's with Mendy. Mohamed Ali Cho. Well, making considerable progress with the ball. And players waiting in the centre. Well, they keep passing away. Rosario. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. And threaded through by Mbappe. Soler. On to Soler. Kangin Lee. Mukiele. Excellent block. Tere Mofi. Oh, that's a really good run. Really important piece of last ditch defending. Kylian Mbappe. It's with Carlos Soler. Attacking possibilities for PSG. Went in strongly, decisively. Cho. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Mbappe. Now, will they do it from here? And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage! Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, but I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it should go in at that near post. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Pablo Rosario Turam 
And now with Boga. Sanson. And on to Boga. Well, Nice unable to keep the ball. Kylian Mbappe. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Sanson. Dante. Mohamed Ali Cho. Just ten minutes remaining here. Pablo Rosario. What to like about that pass. Well, a shot from miles out. Manuel Ugarte. Soler. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left. And the margin just one. Marquinhos. A very timely interception. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. Well, the keeper was always likely to do his job, under no pressure. Kangin Lee. Soler. Options in the centre. Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. So two minutes to be added on at the end. And Mendy has it. Chu. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is they bounce back now and they can't afford a repeat performance. Well, choose your descriptive word where Kylian Mbappe is concerned. Explosive is one adjective you could use, Stuart. Well, he certainly had an impact on the result, not least in 12 yards. He always looked confident, though. He just didn't expect him to miss.